Okay, 14. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like an abscess, right? I mean, <clears throat> it's a big pocket of neutrophils here, as well as kind of histiocytes too, right? Good, yeah. Very astute. Uh, so, uh, we were thinking this was erythema and the dose not Lazarus because they had the globi. Good, yes, you're right. The the two things you, you could think of nodular um, uh, vasculitis or erythema endurotum, but once you start seeing cells that have holes in them with this kind of fine granular bluish stuff, when I see that, I think of the globi of leprosy. Also, you can see an essentially identical appearance in other forms of mycobacterial infection, like atypical mycobacteria, okay? And um, in, in practice, honestly, if I saw this, like today on my biopsy tray, I would not think of erythema nodosum leprosum, because obviously leprosy is quite uncommon <clears throat> in my practice. Um, in my former job in Arkansas, because of armadillos, we would see a couple cases of leprosy, usually armadillo-related per year, but I never ended up seeing one of these reactions that I know of. So this is kind of what the one of the type two reactions, and I don't fully understand all of the all of the different subtypings of leprosy and leprosy reactions, but basically the idea, this usually occurs when people have lepromatous or, or borderline lepromatous, one of those. They have numerous organisms, one of the multibacillary forms of leprosy, and then they get treated, and then all of the antigen from the leprae organisms creates like an immune complex um, that circulate and, and uh, cause a bunch of neutrophils and vascular damage. So you will, I think, still see a lot of times the background of leprosy, and that's what these all are. Like you said, there's tons of, of uh, cells packed with uh, leprae organisms up here in the dermis. Same thing. You've got like that linear kind of uh, serpiginous linear granulomatous stuff, but it's not the tight gran not tight sarcoidal or tuberculoid type granulomas, but the loose granulomas that are made up of those uh, leprosy filled histiocytes. So that's why they kind of are loose, loose, fluffy looking histiocytes, almost bubbly looking, and they're tracking along vessels and nerves here. And then you're getting pockets of neutrophils and the neutrophils are the the part that's the reaction. So that's the erythema nodosum leprosum. But again, in real life practice, I would also wonder about, you know, other things like atypical mycobacteria, which sometimes make abscesses. Cool, I've never actually seen a real case of that.